This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to Grounded. Today I'm going to show you where to get berry leather. Let's get to it. Okay, so for all of my tutorials, well pretty much all of my tutorials, we are going to use this bad boy right here to navigate for a few reasons. One, because it should show up on your map. It's part of the quest. You have to come over here and mess with it in order to continue the story mode and get to Burgle and all of that other good stuff. So you're going to have it. It's right here. It's always on your map right from the get go. You can find it easy. The other thing is you can see pretty much all the landmarks that you need to see from this thing in order to navigate. And today we're using the house. So find this bad boy right here on your map should just show up for you. It's the mysterious machine. Stand in the center of it. Turn around until you see the house. Oh, look, there's the house. And then the berries are to the left of the house. So we're just going to angle ourselves like that. And we're going to run in this direction right here. Just run about as straight as you can, as long as you keep the house up there in your view and you're running to the corner of it over over there see the corner of it you're going to be running in the right direction so we're just going to head on over this way and i'm just going to uh speed it up a little bit here Okay, once you've hit the swamp area here, you know you're in pretty much the right spot. Right there is the henge, and that is the uh, berry, well, the henge, aka the berry bushes. The berries are there, so we're just going to run over this way. Uh, looks like there might be a spider around here. We're all right. We're just going to keep running, kind of ignore it, and uh, we're going to run underneath of them. Now, I highly advise throwing up one of the little lean-tos. Just keep the stuff on you for lean-tos wherever you go and throw them up everywhere so you can set your save spot just in case anything bad happens because running across the map is terrible and you don't want to have to do that. It's easier just to reset your spawn point every new location that you go to when you're doing things. And I should have one over here. Yeah, I have one right there. So there are orb weavers over here. There are larvae over here and uh, weevils. And that's pretty pretty much it. There's nothing too crazy over here. So we're just going to set our spawn point real quick. So while you're here, there are a bunch of little stones. You can bring a bunch of the pebbles with you, but uh, I advise just picking them up while you're here because they're all over the place. And we're going to need to make use of these to get the berries easy. I'm going to kill this other spider real quick. And then I'm just going to continue to pick up the pebbles. You don't have to start at this location. The berries actually extend pretty far across there. You can go to one of the areas where there isn't two orb weavers. But if you don't know how to kill them super easy, I have a video on it. I will link it up in the top right hand corner right now. Okay, so now that we have a bunch of the little pebblets, we're going to drag those down to our hot bar. Now you can throw these bad boys if you did not know. All you have to do is just use whatever it says your throw action is. For me, I'm on PC, so it is R. I'm going to pick up a couple more of them here. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to run up this right here. This is the only way I know to easily get up here into the bushes. Uh, you can do some crazy leaf ninja stuff, but this this is pretty much your tried and true easiest way is that in that spot right there. So you can see there's a berry right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold R and throw a rock at it like that and the berry is going to fall and we're just going to run around and do that for a couple different ones around here just to get them on the ground because that's how you're going to harvest them so you're just going to run around find berries so here's another one run up here to this one and we'll just hold r and chuck a rock at it we'll see if we can hit this one i don't know sometimes it's uh better to go into first person mode when you're doing this so for me it's the u key Oh, it might be might be too far away. Yeah, we're not going to make that one there. So we're going to pop back out. Okay, so now we're just going to jump down here. And as you're falling, it's always good to have a glider with you. I got a dandelion tuff here as my glider. It makes it easier to get down. And then here's our berry. So now we're just going to harvest it up like so. And if you don't already know the berry leather, that should give you the recipe. If it doesn't, just research the berry chunks. I don't exactly remember when you get it. Um, I think you just get it if I remember correctly, as soon as you pick up the berry chunks. Keep in mind when you're over here harvesting, it's three berry chunks per berry leather, and you usually only get three, maybe sometimes four of the 
uh, berry chunks from each berry. So just consider each berry a berry leather when you are over here so that you know how many you're going to need to harvest in order to make whatever you're trying to make. But that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Once you're over here, just pick up a bunch of pebbles. And the great thing about the pebbles is, is that they will just fall back down to the ground and you can just pick them back up and then just chuck them at the berries and the berries will fall down. Uh, you can also use a spear if you want. Uh, you can also shoot them with arrows. It takes a couple of arrows to get them to fall, but I find the pebbles the easiest to do because they're just, they're already over here. They're easy to get and uh, you don't have to worry about losing them or anything like that. There we go. There's another one and we'll just jump down and uh, harvest it up. Once you have your berry chunks, you are going to need a workbench. If you don't have a workbench, just put some tree sap in the analyzer and that should give you the workbench. Come to your workbench and then you want to go to materials and right here you will see the berry leather takes three chunks per one berry leather and then you just craft it up. There you go. And you can see we now have three berry leather. Okay, so that's it for this one. Just a quick short video to show you how to get berry leather. Hopefully you found it helpful if you did. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, all that good stuff. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.